bone staying very sturdy even though we're on the actual road now. Now I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but first impressions, I'm really impressed with the packaging and the presentation that we're getting right here from the Gaze Wide H wireless car charging phone mount. Now I'm sure you're thinking there's already a ton of phone mounts already on the market. A lot of them charge your phone and all that good stuff too, so what's different about this one? Well first things first, this is one of the first car mounts I've actually seen where you can mount your phone not only portrait mode, but in landscape modes, because you don't want to look like an Uber driver unless you're an Uber driver. And if you really think about it, using maps, it looks a lot better when you turn your phone to the side and get that nice widescreen display. And speaking of widescreen displays, this mount actually supports foldable phones like the Galaxy Fold. And a lot of other car mounts, you know, it's just too small. It can only go tall and maybe you can use it while it's folded up, but if you want to open that thing up, it's impossible. Now I don't have a foldable phone because I'm waiting for the foldable iPhone and maybe I'll pick that one up, but I do have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is the biggest iPhone ever. So we'll at least be able to put that to the test and see if it fits. It does support up to 15 watts of Qi wireless charging on capable devices. iPhones of course will be limited to 7.5 watts because Apple. But as far as mounting this thing, you can mount it whether you want to suction cup it to your windshield, your dashboard, or even mount it to your air vent if you choose. And of course, like I said, this wirelessly charges your phone while you're using it to navigate, play music, all that good stuff while you're driving. And it also has automatically opening and closing clamps to hold your phone into place without too much of a hassle. Now, like I said, this box is looking nice. You already know, matte black everything, we know. Oh, that box is looking clean. The mount's looking nice. We are looking at Gaze Car Wide H, Gaze Car Wide Wireless Charging Holder. It supports inputs at 5 volts and 2 amps, 9 volts and 1.67 amps, and 12 volts and 1.5 amps, as well as outputs at 5 watts, 7.5 watts, 10 watts, and all the way up to 15 watts of charging power. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, just look at this thing. Of course, coming back to the packaging, everything is packaged amazingly and it's all blacked out. I love it. Now, looking at this phone mount, it's actually kind of shocking to see because it's so wide and I've never seen a phone mount this wide. Inside the box of the suction cup mount, the air vent clip mount, a USB-A to USB Type-C power cable, another vent clip for mounting, as well as a user manual. And then the mount itself? Ooh, it feels like quality. It's definitely got some weight to it. It feels very solid. Now over on the front, like I said, it's just taking me by total shock because it's so wide. I've never seen a foam mount this wide. And of course, you're gonna be able to go in landscape mode. Now over on the front, we have a nice metallic ring here so you can see exactly where you're gonna be putting your phone. Right here smack dab in the center is gonna be the wireless Qi charging coils. In the middle, we have the Gaze logo, which actually illuminates so you know it has power. Over here on the outside, we have the automatically opening and closing clamps to keep your phone into place, as well as allowing for easy removal. Over here on the back, we have the ball joint which you're gonna be able to attach all the different connectors so you can mount it the way you want right next to some ventilation to keep things nice and cool while it's charging up your phone over on the top it's very plain of course matte black everything but coming down to the bottom we actually have a button here which you can press to open and close the clamps right next to an indicator light so you know it's having power and charging up your device and it's all above this usb type c port which is of course nice to see so first impressions, I'm really liking this so far. It feels very solid and high quality and it looks nice and I'm just glad that I could charge up my phone wirelessly while having it in landscape mode so I can use navigation properly. So now let's take a look at a couple of the mounting options you have. Of course, we have two options when it comes to mounting it to a car vent. Of course, it's gonna depend on your type of car, but what we're gonna do is turn this to the left, lefty loosey, righty tidy. We're gonna pop the ball into place, get it nice and tightened back up. And as you can see, you can move it 360 degrees to get it exactly to the angle that you want, whether you want it facing you, going straight, up, down, wherever you want, and then lock it into place completely, and that way, it's not going to be budging. And then when it comes to the mount, you can see it's unlocked right now and open, you put it on your vent, lock it into place, and it'll stay completely sealed. The inside is actually a soft rubber grip, so it's not going to be damaging your car. Of course, it's easy to remove this and replace it with another one if you want, lefty loosey, righty tidy, pull the ball out. And then you can put on the other one. Really, it's the same thing once again, just tighten it up. And now we're good to go. Angle it how you want it, get it nice and tight, and it's gonna be staying into place. This one's a little bit more straightforward. You just clamp it, bam, right on there, and then you can put this. I'm not actually sure what this is. I guess it'll keep it into place. I'm not sure if I actually have a car that would use this one. I guess we'll find out. Once again, lefty loosey, righty tidy. I can't believe I learned that when I was younger and I still remember it. It's helped me so much lately. And now onto the actual big suction cup. Pop it in, tighten it up. 
Now the suction cup's actually really cool. And I'll tell you why in a second, but first things first, it's locked up. So we're gonna unlock it. We can expand it, get it to exactly the angle that we want and then lock it into place and it's in a state. Like, look at this. I don't know why I would want it like this, but I could if I wanted to. But we're gonna unlock it. Let's get it straight. How would I have this actually? So if I have it on my dashboard, it's gonna be this way. I'm gonna have it like this, lock it into place, and then put it on my dashboard. But we can actually do with this is not only mount it to your dashboard or your windshield, but if you want, you can mount it to your desk. Although I'm not sure if it will work on any desk, of course it's gonna matter based on the materials, but let's actually try it out with this desk here. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. This is really sticky. That's a good suction cup, so let's see. We're gonna put it right here. Lock it on. <laughs> it is on here. Okay, I'm impressed already. I didn't think it would actually stick to this desk. So now let's unlock this. Let's angle it how we need it. it probably would have made sense to angle it toward me, but you know, it is what it is. We're over here. And look at that. That's nice. And as you can see, I'm shaking the desk. And this is staying still. Like I've had some car mounts where it shakes while you're driving. That is annoying. So hopefully it'll stay this steady while we're actually driving on the road. All right, so now we're gonna get our USB-C cable plugged in for power and look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Should I angle it up a little bit more? I mean, we can. There we go, look at this. Look at that. It lights up blue right here on the logo and on the bottom we have a nice white light. I should probably take this off so I can show you guys a little bit better. As you can see, it was easy to take it off the mount. And right here on the front, we have a nice blue light glowing on the logo, so you know it has power. Also on the bottom, we have a white light. So let's see what happens when we actually put our phone in here. Look at that, it automatically clamped, it automatically started charging, and the bottom light turned blue. That's actually really cool, I'm liking that. And then if you wanna release it, just press this button on the bottom, the arms open up, and you take your phone out. That's awesome, it automatically closes when your phone starts charging, Yo, look at that. It's holding it nice and tight, and we have some nice rubberized grips here on the inside to keep your phone from getting scratched and also keep it nice and in place. Wow, that's really good. I'm impressed, like just look at this. This is the biggest iPhone, and this thing's holding it like a champ. Like that's crazy. Let me pull up the maps real quick. I wanna see what that looks like. Look at that. Doesn't this look a lot better? Like look at that, see the white screen? Let's turn it this way, than this? Like this looks stupid. This looks awesome. Look at that, so much more real estate. So now let me get it back onto the mount. We're gonna act like we're driving right now. And as you can see, this is basically what it will look like in a car. And of course, if you want it to be portrait, all you do is loosen up the ball joint, tilt it this way. <laughs> and as you can see, we have the biggest phone ever. So we can go do Uber rides, Postmates, all that good stuff with our huge phone inside of this car mount while it's charging. I'm pretty impressed with this thing, that's nice. And of course, if we wanna disconnect it, and just take it out. And the phone's not gonna fall because it's standing on this platform right here. And then if we wanna charge again, we put it back on, starts charging, and bam, locks up. Perfect, that's really cool. Now one thing I did notice, this is pretty obvious, the phone has to be detected as charging through the charger for it to clasp the button. So right here, if I put it here, it's not lined up correctly, so it's not gonna close. But what you can easily do to solve that is put it right in the middle so it starts charging, just hold it here, and then it'll lock or you can do it manually. Just set it down on here and then press the button on the side or the bottom and then it'll close. So either way, it's easy to do. So now that we got this all figured out and set up and it's looking awesome, let's head out to a car, set this thing up and put it to the test on the road. All right, so now that we know how this works in a controlled studio environment, we're inside of a truck now, we're gonna see if we can actually set this up and test it out. So first things first, we're gonna start off with the suction cup. I'm not sure if this will actually stick to the dashboard because of the material, it's not a flat surface, but we'll figure it out and see if it works. So, you know, you suction cup stuff, push it down, lock it into place and yeah, it's probably not a good idea to stick it on here. Let's try. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna stick. Now it might stick, but if you hit a pothole or something, it might go flying, so I probably wouldn't recommend it. Of course, if you do have a dashboard that isn't compatible with suction cups, you can actually get this disc which will adhere to your dashboard with double-sided tape and allow you to suction cup your mount directly to it. I'll throw the link down below if you wanna go that route. But I know what this will stick to, and that's the windshield, so let's get it adjusted. Lock it onto the windshield. Oops. There we go. Okay, that's really strong and sturdy. We're gonna flip this over. Let's get it angled. Oops, push the button. Get it straight. And here we go. We got it facing us. Let's get it locked into place. All right. So now let's put our phone in. 
detects that it's charging and it's locked into place. All right, looks like it's looks like it's on there. All right, so we got it stuck to the windshield, not bad. As you can see, we got the maps in full landscape mode and it's very easy to see what's going on. So now personally, that looks good, although if you look, it's kind of far away. So if I'm driving, I have to reach up here and try to do it while I'm driving, that's very dangerous. So what most people are probably gonna wanna do is use one of these to mount it onto the air vent. All right, so this one's pretty simple, although I'm still not sure what this is for. I guess it's just to keep it steady. So we just clip it on to the vent. And there we go. As you can see, this thing's anchored in between the air vents, so it's gonna keep it nice and still. Place our phone inside. And it locks right into place, starts charging up. You guys heard that tone. And now we can have this huge widescreen map display as we're driving so we don't look like an Uber driver. But if you wanna be an Uber driver for the day, of course, can loosen up the grip, turn it vertically, tighten it back up, and now you can be an Uber driver. Well, we're probably gonna need to angle it up a little higher. There we go, now we can do Uber. Who wants to get picked up? Of course, to get your phone out, just press the button on the bottom, it opens up, take it out. And remember, since it's vertical, we're gonna have to put it in, and it's not detecting that it's charging, so we're gonna have to move it up slightly, get it aligned. Once it aligns, it detects it and closes up, it's locked into place. And then we have the final one. This one, it actually locks down. I'm not sure really which one you would choose. I guess you can try both of them out and figure out which one is best for you. But we're gonna get this one open. So we're gonna put it back onto the air vent, lock it into place. Now we can stick our phone in, make sure it's charging, and it locks it right into place. And of course, you wanna remove your phone, press the button, opens up and you can take it right out. And the cool thing about this is it actually has residual power. So even if you cut off the power to the car, it'll still allow you to push this button to release your phone because it saves a little bit of power in there so you can open it up. So now that we got all this figured out, we're gonna put our phone back on the mount, head out on the road and see how steady this thing can stay. The phone's staying very sturdy even though we're on the actual road now. And as you can see, look at that big display, widescreen with the maps. This isn't the best road ever and it's actually staying very steady. I can barely stay still with the camera. So there we have it. It looks like this is actually doing a very good job. It held my $1,400 phone steady and it didn't drop it, which is great because I don't have a case on this thing and I don't want to break it and I have to go get another one because this thing's expensive. So this is actually good. It charged up my phone while I'm able to use it in widescreen and this phone is big. I mean, look at it next to my head. This thing is huge. So I'm impressed with it. I like that it automatically closes, opens with the touch of a button and charges up my phone while I can use it this way or this way, any way I want. If I want to do Uber, I turn it this way, but then when I want to go to the club, I turn it this way. Although I can't go to a club now because you know, everything that's going on. And it's great that you can choose to either mount it to your windshield, your dashboard, if you can mount it to your dashboard. Remember, results may vary. And also you can choose to mount it to your air vent. So it's great that you have different options depending on what you want to do. Personally, I'm leaning toward the air vent because it's easier to access while you're driving, which you really shouldn't be playing on it. But if you have to do something real quick, you know, like maybe have to answer a phone call or something. You don't have to reach all the way up here, depending on how far away your dashboard is, because you know, cars are different sizes. And if you want to pick up one of these, the link's down below in the description. And if you happen to have a folding phone, let me know how it goes.